Okay, so here we have uh, some connection to the controller. So this is just a little uh, 350 watt controller, um, 48 volts. You can run these on uh, 60 volts as long as you put the 60 volts uh, on the main thick red and then on the switched red tap out at 48 volts and it works fine. Um, the capacitors in these are 63 volts so you are pushing your luck but it, I haven't had any failures so that's okay. Uh, throttle cables <clears throat> so you've got your, your black is your ground your red is your 5 volt supply and your green return is the throttle signal and that's on to a Hall Effect uh, twist grip throttle that's what I would normally use the brake levers are the wrong way around because if you look very closely I've drilled them and those will be fitted with some little micro switches that I've made up um, which have got little uh, extensions on them so they will act as the brake cutoffs they're already tested uh, etc so um, that's just a matter of fitting those and getting the brakes set up properly. So I've already got the, the 12 volts connected. So this is an old uh, kiddies uh, bike battery. So that's just for temporary. And there's my main 60 volt pack. Uh, just on a 10 amp IEC, what is it, C13, whatever it's called, kettle lead. Okay, so if we fire her up. We'll get 63 volts. I've already tested this once because I'm not daft. And a uh, little gentle prod on the throttle. And off we go. Obviously I've got wires and all this wonderful stuff in the way. So uh, if we do have a failure of the freewheeling crank then that cable is going to get ripped up and wrapped around. And that's probably break the battery and everything. So let's hope it works. So you go, so we are on the turbo trainer, um, it may slip because there's no weight on it, I, I'm not on it, but that's working fairly well. So I've just got the chain tensioner there, I've tapped, I've drilled and tapped the, uh, these holes, it's about 5 or 6 millimetres, about 5 or 6 millimetres of, uh, that you can drill and tap, you just got to be careful you don't go through into the, into the coils. Um, and I'm just using, because it, it, there isn't actually much change in the tension, I'm just using the zip tie there because I've got very, very little room behind that chain uh, to put a spring there. So, but you can see that's hardly moving. Oh, and the chain is an off cut. I've got various scooters. So half silver, half gold. It, I guess uh, maybe it's got some use. I can see what's going on a little bit, but uh, but that's it's just because it's off cuts and I'm prototyping, so I'm not getting proper kit. Uh, uh, so that's about it. So we've got a bit of a run, and we'll have to get it under load at some point and see what really happens.